Welcome all, welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we have a regular polygon and O is the center of the polygon. And we need to find the measure of angle OBA, this one. I'm going to call it X. And because this is the center of polygons, we know these two sides of this triangle are going to be congruent. So triangle uh, OAB is an isosceles triangle. And this angle also will be congruent to the angle we need to find out. So I'm going to call them both x. It will be easy to work with x. And if we find out the, the measure of this angle, angle AOB, uh, then we can find out x uh, very easy. So how, can, how are we going to find the measure of angle AOB? That is a central angle for this polygon. And the, easy, the easiest way to find out, the way to find out is counting them how many sides we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 sides. I'm going to divide 360 by 8. The measure of that central angle of the polygon is 360 divided by 8. which is 45 degrees, okay? And the reason for those who were wondering how we get that 45, think about how many angles like this you have. You can draw, you can draw these uh, segments and you'll notice you have eight angles like angle AOB. So now, if we go back in the triangle AOB, like I said, we can find this axis now because we know the sum of these interior angles of this triangle is nothing else than 180x plus x, the two base angles, plus these angles that we find out, 45 equals 180. So we're going to have 2x plus 45 equals 180. So the next step will be to subtract 45. And we have 2x equals 135. And we can divide by 2. And we have x equal... 67.5 but don't forget this 67.5 this x is nothing else than the measure of angles o b a and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back at c square for more help thank you